Hello YouTubers, my name is Jack Ransworth coming at you live from my desktop today and today I will be showing you how to do a make a Kali Linux bootable USB. Um, if you do not know what a Kali Linux bootable USB is, um, basically it's you can boot off of your USB and make your computer start off of your USB without having to install it on a hard drive or anything. You can if you want, but this is just a live USB tutorial. I will be showing you how to make a persistent USB in the next video, um, but live is basically you can't really save anything every time that you restart your computer. It um, like wipes everything, it's just a completely clean slate while persistence. You don't need a hard drive so you can save it onto the USB stick, but that means you're going to need a bigger USB stick. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you how to make a live USB. Um, what you're going to need for this tutorial is at least a 3 gigabyte USB that runs FAT32. So if I go ahead, you want to go to your USB real quick, um, right click, and you want to click Format. And you want to make sure that the system is set to FAT32. Make sure that it shows FAT32 right here. Um, that's pretty much the biggest thing. Um, and then just click Start. Make sure you check Quick Format and just click start and um it's gonna go ahead and format by the way this is going to erase everything on the actual usb stick there we go format complete now you need to download the necessary software in order to do what we need to do now what you want to do is go to your favorite web browser i will have the links to all of this in the description um so what you would like, what you need to do is go to the first link, which is Kali.org. This is where you can download Kali Linux itself. It is a 2.6 gigabyte download. Um, so you can torrent it if you want, or you can just download the ISO straight, which is what I do because my internet can can download it quick enough. You know, it doesn't take days or whatever, which is always good. So you just want to click. Usually, I, I would recommend this one right here, the 2.6 gigabyte. Or your 64-bit. I mean, if you have a 32-bit based processor, then that's then you're gonna have to get a 32-bit. Um, but this is 2.6 gigabytes. Like I said, this is right now the version 2016.1 is out, and this is this. Uh, if you know how to check all this, it's not really necessary. Um, but then you want to go to Universal. Once again, this is going to be uh, in the description. Um, and then this is basically what you're going to use to make your bootable USB. So you want to scroll down once you get onto this page and click right here on this blue bar that says Download UUI. Um, and once you download it, there's no really installing that you have to do. So let's just get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Chrome. And then you go ahead and open up the Universal USB installer. Click Yes, let it do its thing. Click I agree. And you want to go down and you want to select your Linux distribution. Go all the way down here and click on Kali Linux. And then click on Browse to find your ISO. Um, go down, oh, no. Go down to, um, I have it stored on my other USB drive because it is a huge file. And it's in here inside of this uh, thing right here. And then you click on the Kali Linux ISO that you just downloaded. And once you do that, then you want to um, go down here and select your USB drive. Mine is this one, E. So make sure that you select the right one. And then you also want to click Format Drive as FAT32 and then click Create. And click Yes. And I will be back when it is done creating the uh, bootable USB. Okay, so once you are done, um, make sure that you click Close. I was not recording when I clicked Close. But after it is completely done, in the bottom right of the program, it'll say Close. So just wait until like the bar is completely finished and it'll say close. Um, now what you want to do is go to your USB drive and you would and you need to right click on it and then click eject. Make sure that you click eject before you pull it out so that you don't like corrupt any files because that's you know never fun. Um, and once it says safe to remove hardware, then pull it out and we're gonna go over to our PC or our Linux machine actually. Okay, so we are at the computer that I'm going to be using to boot uh, the USB. So you want to plug your USB into your actual computer and then press the power button. Now, once you press the power button, you want to hit F2 multiple times. Just keep on hitting it. 
Um, it's going to ask me for a password, but it won't for you. Um, I just have a password to keep my PC protected. Um, and then once you press F2 enough, you should boot into the BIOS and you want to go over to boot and you want to see if you find your, you can see your USB and then you want to um, press F6 to move it, like press F6 and F5 to move it up and down. Um, and you want to make sure that that's all the way at the top and then you want to go over and click exit and click exit saving changes and then it's going to restart the PC. It's going to take a few seconds. There we go. And I was going to ask me for my password again. And then now you should be in the Kali. It said it should be in the Kali screen. Kali, the quieter you become, the more you'll be able to hear. Now you want to select the very top one, Live uh, AMD 64. And then once you go ahead and select live, then you will boot, then you'll go ahead and you'll boot into Kali Linux. We'll be back when that is done. Okay, so after it loads for a bit, you should be in the Kali screen, and that's pretty much it. You now have a bootable USB. Like I said, next time, or possibly the time after that, I will be showing you how to make a persistent USB. Um, and yeah, that's what I'll be showing you next time. Um, or probably the time after that next time I'm probably going to show a advanced man in the middle attack where you can SSL strip and everything like that. So yeah, thank you for watching, have a nice day, and goodbye.